Okay guys, we are gonna keep looking at perimeter today. Um, and our learning target is I can find the lengths of missing sides when given the perimeter of a square or rectangle. So you've been working with perimeter and you've been working with the strategy of adding up all of the sides in order to find the perimeter. But today we're gonna look at what happens when you're given a perimeter and you have to find the missing sides of the shape that you're given. And we're gonna look at squares and rectangles. So today we're gonna to start first with the rectangle. And in this problem, we've been given the perimeter of 26. So we know based on the work we've already done that that means all of these sides added together would equal 26. So what do we do when we don't have all of the sides to add together? Well, in this case, we're given one side. We know that one side is eight and because it's a rectangle, we know that rectangles have opposite sides that are the same length. So I know already that even though they didn't give me this number here, I know it's gonna be eight because the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So now I just need to find these two missing sides. So what I'm gonna do is I know that all of the sides added together are 26, and I know that I have two sides that are worth eight. And this is an easy doubles fact, eight plus eight is 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and just subtract that from my 26. So if I have 26 and I take away 16, if I'm looking at the ones place, I know that I have six ones and I'm gonna take away six ones. So that's gonna leave me with zero ones. And if I'm looking at my tens place, I have two tens and I'm taking away one 10. That's gonna leave me with one 10. So I know that these two sides together have to equal 10 because that's how many more I would need after I take away the 16 from these two sides. So I know that these two sides are equal because it's a rectangle. And so I'm thinking back to my doubles facts and I know that five and five is what's gonna give me 10 because they have to equal, they have to be equal on both sides here. So the only math fact that I know that gives me 10 with the same number is five and five. So that means that I can fill in this side as five and I can fill in this side as five. So when I look at my rectangle, I'm gonna have eight and eight because we were given the eight and we know they're opposites and then five and five because those are gonna be the same because it's a rectangle, okay? So in this problem, we basically just looked at what we had and subtracted it from the perimeter in order to figure out how to divide up our difference here to get two equal sides, okay? So let's look at what we do when the shape that we're given is a square. Now in this problem, we didn't get any sides. They didn't give us any of the sides to this square, but they did give us the perimeter of 20. So if I think back to what I know about a square, I know that all of the sides of my square are equal. So whatever this length is, it's gonna be the same for the three other sides. And I don't know what that length is to start with. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So I know that if I add this side and this side and this side and this side, I'm gonna get 20. So because I don't know the side, I'm going to put S, um, as, which is a variable. I'm going to put S because I don't know the length of the side, but I do know that all the sides are the same and that there's four of them. So if I have S plus S plus S plus S, I should get 20. Okay. And remember S is standing for the length of this side that we don't know. So the best way to do this problem is really just to guess and check. So I know that my number here is 20, which is a pretty small number. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess um, that maybe the sides are three. And so if I'm thinking that the sides are three, I'm gonna fill three in for S here, and I'm gonna do three plus three plus three plus three, okay? And then I know that three plus three is six, three plus three is six, and when I add those together, I get 12. Okay, well, 12 is not 20, so those are not equal, which means three can't be the length of my sides. And 12 is still about eight away from 20, so I'm not gonna do four because I'm thinking that might not be big enough. I'm gonna go ahead and try five. And so I'm gonna do the same thing because this one didn't work. I'm gonna try five plus five plus five plus five and see what I get. So I know five plus five is 10, five and five is 10, and then 10 plus 10 is 20. 
So this matches the perimeter that we're given. So this one would work, okay? And just to kind of show you that um, this is the only set of numbers that would work, I'm just gonna try six plus six plus six plus six, just so you can kind of see what happens. I know six plus six is 12, six plus six is 12. And I can see that 12 plus 12, two, two ones plus two ones is four ones, one 10 plus another 10 is two tens. This one is too big, so it does not work. So remember that the S stood for each side. So I now know that the length of each side is five because I found that out right here. Another way to think about this is that you need to take away the same number four times from 20 and end up with zero. And that's called repeated subtraction. So if I have 20 and I take away five, I'm gonna get 15, okay? 15 subtract five is gonna give me 10. 10 subtract five is gonna give me five and then five minus five is gonna give me zero, which is what I want if I've created four equal sides. So that's just kind of a connection to repeated subtraction and um, just showing you that if we are taking this number and making five, four equal sides with five, it is going to give us 20. Okay, so remember, we looked at finding the length of missing sides when given the perimeter of a square or a rectangle. Now you're going to try some on your own. If you need support, you can stop and rewatch the video and pause when necessary. If you need additional help, please reach out to your teacher.